And welcome back to Straight Talk Africa, live from Washington. Once again, it's time to bring in my colleague and social media reporter, Mariama Jaro. Mariama, take it away again, please. Well, thanks, Shaka. The unrest has shaken the world's newest country and grabbed the attention of regional leaders, delegates representing South Sudanese President Salva Kiir and opposition leader Riyak Machar held face-to-face -face discussions as they seek to end weeks of violence that has left more than 1,000 people dead. Will the talks lead to a political solution? Well, that's the million dollar question on everyone's mind. In the meantime, our STA team asked this question. What will it take to restore long-term peace and stability in South Sudan? Well, let's get right to your answers and uh, right away and begin with a comment from Dennis Biko Lumuti from Kakamega in Kenya, he writes, President Salva Kiir should accept a power sharing agreement with Riyak Machar. Power sharing worked here in my country, Kenya, after the 2007 and 2008 post-election violence. Another comment comes from Francis Placid Mluge from uh, Morogoro in uh, Tanzania, and he posted this on our wall, the politicians should know that peace cannot be maintained by force. However, it can be achieved by understanding. The Sudanese should unite against the greedy politicians. Well, Shaka, it's a loaded comment. Who are the politicians in this case? Is he referring to the president, Salva Kiir, Riyad Machar, or anybody else? What do you think? Maybe he's referring to these two of my guests. Let me come to you, uh, <laughs> Dr. How do you respond to that? Um, do you think that uh, power sharing would in fact be a panacea for your problems? Uh, thank you, Shaka. Before uh, answering your question, I would want to have a short comment on the peace talks. Mm -hmm. uh, President Salva Kiir and the government of South Sudan have sent a delegation, a very high level delegation, uh, to Addis Ababa to achieve why did it arrive very late? Our delegation did not arrive very late. The other delegation arrived on Wednesday, and the government delegation, frankly, didn't arrive until about Friday. It was a question of logistics, and our delegation was ready, but uh, there was no flight on, uh, there, there was no space on the flight on Thursday. Why anyway, did the logistics affect the other team? Uh, well, uh, whatever happened, happened. But uh, it is not the arrival. Because even if they had arrived on Tuesday mm -hmm. and up to today, mm -hmm. we have not agreed on ceasefire, right. then their presence in Addis Ababa would not have been so useful. You have also not agreed, of course, to release the detainees, which seems to be a key point because some of those people in detention are supposed to be on the table participating in the dialogue that you are talking about. Shaka, you know very well that we agreed uh, to go for the talks unconditionally. So the condition that was put forward in the first beginning mm -hmm. and which was rejected is now surfacing again in Addis Ababa. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is taking the, is taking the, the talks as a hostage mm -hmm. for political advantage. Uh, and it doesn't show any particular concern for the lives being lost mm -hmm. by the, the delegation of uh, former Vice President Dr. Riyak Machar, mm -hmm. not the SPLM, SPLA, as uh, they may want to call themselves. I see. Yeah. So we are particularly keen in uh, arriving at ceasefire first before we can discuss any other issues relating to power sharing and others. Political issues will, will, will come next, but what is urgent, what is important, what is in our best interest is first to stop the cessation of hostilities and we proceed forward. The problem is you don't frankly seem to be providing an example because the last time I checked, uh, your forces are poised to attack your hometown of Bol. They are poised to attack Benti uh, all over the place. Shaka, uh, let me 
correct that uh, misunderstanding. The government of South Sudan uh, armed forces are defending uh, uh, they are preventing the mm. march mm -hmm. of the former dissidents, the former mutinies mm -hmm. from Division 8 mm -hmm. and all over Jongle State and other states, including the White Army. Mm -hmm. uh, the youth. The, yeah. Mm. The armed uh, civilian youth from uh, Okobo who are trying to march to Juba to change power to remove Salva Kiir as the head of state I see. and install uh, former Vice President Dr. Yek Machar. And so, in order to protect... You are not on attack. We are, we are on defensive. You are on the defensive. Yes. Of course, sometimes That's it, why it is said in the military that uh, the best defense... Is offense. Offense. 